Hello everyone, welcome back to our Advent devotion and continuing our Jesse tree. Today is December 24th. Merry Christmas, it is Christmas Eve. Um, I know for us we're excited and our house has been a little crazy today um, as we continue to do family traditions. They might look a little different because of COVID, but um, we continue to spend time together and celebrate the coming of Jesus, our Savior. And so we are going to continue with reading from Luke chapter 2, 1 through 20. At the time of the Roman Emperor, Augustus decreed, decreed that a census should be taken through the Roman, throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census that was taken when Quirinius, Quirinius the, was the governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem to, in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiance, who now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in snuggling strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. In the night in which the sh there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep, suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel assured, reassured them, Do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth laying in a manger. Suddenly, an angel joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to all whom those God with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there a baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were, were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angels had told them. Today we are focused on Bethlehem, and this is the sticker that will correspond with your um, Advent tree sticker chart and our ornament for today. Our devotion reads, while Mary and Joseph were expecting their baby, a ruler near Caesar Augustus was conducting a census. In order to count each person, he required everyone to return to their hometown. It took Mary and Joseph several days to journey back to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem. Mary important, many important things had happened in this town. Boaz and Ruth lived, here, lived there with their son Obed. Obed's son Jesse and Jesse's son David lived there as well. The prophet Micah spoke that the ruler over Israel would also come from Bethlehem. But you, Bethlehem, through you are small among the clans of Judea, Judah. Out of you will come from me one who is ruler over Israel. Those origins are from old, from ancient times. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor bears a son, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord and the majesty of the name of the Lord, Lord his God. And they will live sincerely, for the greatness will reach out to the ends of the earth, and he will be our peace. God planned to place Jesus' birth long before it took place. The journey to Bethlehem was difficult and took many days. When Mary and Joseph arrived, it was time for Mary to give birth. 
but all of the places to stay in town were full. Joseph eventually found a room in a place where animals were kept and made a place for Mary to have her baby. On a dark winter night, like likely next to donkeys and sheep, sheep, a savior was born of the world was born. God hung a bright star in the sky in the night to tell everyone that the light of the world had come to earth. Shepherds and wise men followed the star to find the Messiah they had long been waiting for. Let us pray. Wonderful God, you are a proud father the night your son was born. Thank you for sending the light of the world to pierce the darkness in our hearts. Amen. Some branching out activities ideas. What journeys have you taken this year? Look through pictures, scrapbooks, and videos to remember and remember together. You may not have traveled or taken that vacation that you wanted to or had planned or maybe travel plans changed because of COVID, but take a look back on those memories and the journey that you have taken with your family and with your friends this year during odd times. Two, ask your parents to tell about the day you were born. Where were you born? Who was there? How did your parents know it was time? And number three, the shepherds and the wise men brought gifts to the baby. What gifts would you have given him? What gifts can you give God this year?